Hello, I'm Mark Johnson and this presentation is the basics of iPhone memory management. You can find this presentation at www.markj.net. So first of all I do want to say it's this is a tricky topic so if you're learning iPhone programming you're having trouble understanding memory management you're not alone. There's no garbage collector on the iPhone so you have to write the memory management code yourself but unlike most other programming languages your memory management code isn't 100% manual some of it happens automatically but it's not 100% automatic so it's a little confusing about this blend um, until you get the hang of it do read as many books and tutorials and papers as you can about memory management it's the kind of thing where you need to hear from more than one author until you find someone who describes it in a way that makes sense to you Additionally, in an iPhone program, you will see C memory management using malloc and free because um, graphics libraries and st things like that use some C programming. But in this presentation, I'm just going to talk about Objective-C memory management. So in Objective-C on the iPhone, all memory management is done using retain counts. Every object in Objective C is derived from the base class NS object. An NS object has a property which is the retain count. The retain count is a count of how many other objects want to keep this object around. Or another way of looking at it is it's just a count of how many other objects have a reference to this object. You have to write the code that maintains the correct retain count and you do that with two methods um, which are inherited from NS object so there's retain and release so when you pass this retain message to an object to call the retain method this increases the retain count by one when you pass the release message the release method will decrease the retain count by one and the basic mechanism is that when the retain count reaches zero objective C will delete the object from memory so you write the code that maintains the retain counts and when it gets to zero objective C will then delete the object for you when you first create a new object with alloc that object has a retain count of 1. So if we look at this example, we've got an NS mutable string S1. We alloc it here and then we initialize it. At the point that it's allocked, it has a retain count of 1. Now you can, in fact, see that retain count because there's a method on NS object, which is the retain count method, which will return the current value of the retain count. So you can see here in this NS log statement, S1 retain count is, and of course it's going to print out 1 in this case. Continuing through the example, let's say we then pass the retain message to S1. Well, retain increases the retain count by 1. It was 1, we increased it, so now it'll be 2. Then we pass release, retain count goes down by 1, and now the retain count is 1. Pass another release message, and the retain count goes to 0 so the object gets deleted from memory. If you pass the release message one more time, well, the object was already deleted, so that's going to cause the program to crash. Uh, so you create new objects with alloc, but there are also a few methods starting with the word new that create new objects, and there's also, you can create new objects with copy methods and they start with copy or mutable copy so for example um, on uh, NS string or NS mutable string there's the method mutable copy with zone so those methods of creating new objects those are all cases where you get an object back where the retain count is one now the basic principle in making all of this work is that if you create a new object you are then responsible to make sure that object gets released. 
So if you create a new object, its retain count is going to be 1. So the object is going to stay around in memory forever until its retain count goes down to 0 and then Objective-C will delete the object. So if you create an object, its retain count is 1, you're responsible to make sure its retain count goes down to 0. That's what it means by saying you're responsible to make sure the object gets released.